Hello, Ron here. That's a close-up of my Imhotep relay charger circuit. It's an automobile relay. I like this guy here. With the cover taken off. I bought uh, a bag of 20 of these, 50 cents a piece from uh, Electronics Gold Mine over the uh, Thanksgiving Day Black Friday rush. Uh, what I'd like to show are two modifications that can be made to this circuit. I kind of enjoy this little guy. It's quite fun. It's just an automobile relay. Uh, I think I've explained this many times before. It's the Imhotep relay charger circuit. Here's what it looks like. You need a snapshot. There you go. It's basically just a uh, battery energizing this coil to, uh, well, energize the coil. The coil pulls the flap away from the battery and EMF builds up and shoots off to another direction. Uh, usually calls for a charged battery uh, to charge up to catch the pulses, uh, high energy pulses. Uh, today I have a light bulb in place of the charged battery. The first modification is, you can see the light bulb down there, there's a, uh, pardon me for the noise there, that capacitor is a one microfarad capacitor. Uh, and I'm going to place it uh, on the contacts of the light bulb, which is exactly where this neon lamp is. If you put a capacitor here in parallel with this coil, it'll energize the coil slightly longer, keeping that uh, contact away from uh, being charged by the battery just a little bit longer. Uh, sometimes uh, the circuit sputters because it's... Uh, an automobile relay uh, actually needs 14 volts to pull away most effectively. The automobiles you know of in drive, you love them, I know you do, uh, are actually running at 14 volts, not 12. Uh, when you put a lot of appliances on and draw a lot of current, it may go down as far as 12, but the actual circuit is a 14 volt circuit. So the first modification is stop sputtering my camera can pick this up. Uh, well first off, let me start up the circuit. Let me clip out the battery. And uh, the, bat uh, the uh, bulb is glowing. That's where the uh, energy pulses would be going into another battery to catch those. Uh, I'm using the uh, light bulb so we can see what's actually happening. And uh, I'll have to turn off some lights so you can see that a little bit. It's sputtering just very slightly. And when I connect up a little bit of a capacitance here, not enough to kill the AC coming off the coil, but it stops the sputtering just a little bit. The output is now much steadier. So it's nice and smooth. And it didn't uh, cost any uh, electricity amperage. I didn't show you that at first, but take my word for it, adding the capacitor does not pull more amperage out of your battery. So right now I'm sitting at uh, between 20 and 25 milliamps. It uh, bounces very slightly. It's a very accurate meter here. It bounces slightly uh, because it's a mechanical relay. It's not perfect. It doesn't have a smooth... Uh, smooth switching on and off that a transistor would have, but it's it's the mechanical action really gives you a very good uh, electromagnetic flyback though. Alright, so we got that mod in place. The second mod is a magnet being placed on the coil, on the base of the coil, and that will help also uh, increase the duty cycle, keep that flapper away from the contact a little bit longer, giving a better output. And I use snake eggs magnets from the dollar store. I have quite a few of those. And uh, I have painted a, a stripe on it so I know which way is uh, North Pole. Now let me show you the effect of uh, putting the magnet on there. I guess I'll have you watch the battery. I'll have to turn off some of these lights. Maybe keep that light on. I'll try with it off. Sometimes the uh, camera loses focus if it's too dark. Oh, there it goes. 
Let me turn on those lights again. Do, 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 do. Well, I'll tell you what. Well, just, um, Screw that one light bulb. I think that's bright enough. Okay. Now, I'm going to introduce the magnet to the coil now. I have to duck down out of camera range so it goes back into focus. Uh, what I'm doing is, first off, picking over my glasses so I can't see my viewfinder. I'm going to twist the magnet. Uh, right now it's uh, very dim. Light bulb is uh, poor quality light. I twist the magnet and I get uh, a more powerful light effect. Hope you can see that. Here's poor. Here's brighter. Can you see that change? That's me twisting the magnet. So if you find just the right spot, you get a nice steady clear light out of that thing. That's a 2 watt light bulb by the way. Now, in finding the sweet spot, you can hear the flapper ringing. <laughs> Let that ring for a second. So I'd like to show you the uh, power output increases when I use the magnet. Uh, it seems to allow the uh, coil to charge uh, more fully. I'll just look off the table a little bit. There we go. It's on the paper so you don't hear it so much. Now uh, let me twist that magnet while you watch the uh, power meter there. Okay, there's poor light. There's a strong light. I'm sure you can't see the light bulb. but So the magnet is allowing uh, the coil to get more energy into itself can also be used as a uh, dimmer control. So those are my two mods for uh, whoop. Those are my two mods for the uh, Imhotep relay charger circuit. <laughs> Stop it, get back on the paper there. <laughs>